Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of ordering numbers, specifically how we can order a list of items and then find a certain place on that list and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we just have this random sample here, we've got 5 boxes, they have different amounts and let's say we are asked to do two things. First we want to put this in order from greatest to least, but then second we want to find what would be the second one on that list, or the second greatest? Well, what I would suggest is let's make a little place value chart because we're going to use that to line things up. So there's my ones place. And then I'm going to go to my tenths. I'm going to have my hundredths. And I'm going to have my thousandths. And that's as far as we're going to go for fifth grade here. We notice that this first one is two and six tenths. I'm using that decimal to line everything up. This next one is going to be two and, and I've got a zero seven nine. So that's 79, but it's thousands, 79 thousands, because it goes out to the thousands place. Next one is two and 76 hundredths, because it ends in the hundredths place. Next is two and 19 hundredths, because that nine goes in the hundredths place. Finally, two and 765, and then you name that last place value thousandths. So if we want to compare these, the ones places where we would start, it's not going to do us much good because they're all a 2. If one of them was not a 2, then we could use that. So we go to our next place value. But one thing I always suggest is if you're ordering a list like this, before you start comparing them, fill in any blanks with zeros. Because 2 and 6 tenths is the same as 2 and 60 hundredths, is the same as 2 and 600 thousandths. 2 and 76 tenths, or 76 hundredths, is the same as 2 and 760 thousandths. And then 2 and 19 hundredths is the same as 2 and 190 thousandths. Now, why would we add these zeros? Because now I'm not looking at the twos in the ones place, because that's not helping me. Take a look at these numbers. I'm just looking at 600. I get 79. I get 760. 190. 765. That's going to be a lot easier for me to order. So greatest to least, I need to look for my largest one. I've got a 7 in the tenths place in two different spots. So I need to go to the hundredths place. 6 in both of those. So it's going to be this 5. 765 is better than 760, so I'm going to write it right here. 2 and 765 thousandths. That's going to be first. Next is going to be 2 and, and let's write it the way we had it. 2 and 76 hundredths is next. Now my next is going to be this 6, right? So 2 and this was just the 6 tenths. Then I've got that 1, 2 and 19 hundredths, and then finally I've got 2 and 79 thousandths. So that's my order from greatest to least. I'm needing to find the second one, so I just count down, and here is my answer. 2 and 76 hundredths is my second largest number. Let's look at another example. So we are looking at uh, a vertical oriented table here. We've got five different crates. We've got the mass. And this time, let's go from least to greatest. And which one would be the fourth on that list, or the fourth least? So this one, we can actually look. Sometimes they'll give you a table, and it's vertically like this. Use it. There's no need to rewrite it. It's lined up pretty good. So what I want to do, though, is I do want to add a few zeros to make sure we're going to the thousandths place, since that's the largest place here, in all of these numbers. Once again, that ones place is not going to help us. So I'm just looking at my numbers here. And I'm going least to greatest, right? So I've got 10, 102, 120, 201, and 100, right? So I'm going to write it like this. I'll just go ahead and write it out to the thousands place. That's my least. And that 100 is going to be less than that 102. And then I've got the 120, and I've got the 201, and it's this fourth one on my list that I would have as my answer, the fourth least.